What is going on everyone? My name's Boyt and I'm back with some more Age of Mythology retold action. We got it right. We're going to get it right from now on. Maybe. Maybe not. Who knows? <laughs> Spawning in the top of the map in the red color playing as Zeus. His name is Nakamura. His opponent today in the blue color playing as Odin. His name is Drop. The map is Anatolia. A classic map, a fish map, and today uh, we're going to be talking about fish. We're going to be talking about fish. Now, fish has changed significantly, and it's it's a big, big change. So, fish on the Titans had somewhere in the vicinity of 0.7, a little bit less than 0.7 food a second in terms of gather rate. On retold... It starts at 0.5. So it's a huge reduction just in of that itself. Beyond that, the technology per scene is now unlocked in the heroic age, which basically means fish booming, um, everything to do with water is slightly, maybe more than slightly, less valuable in my opinion. And what does this actually mean? strategically speaking well to me it means why am i fighting water when i can just expand my economy much much quicker by getting town centers why am i fighting water when i can potentially just rush heroic age and then kill my opponent with a timing attack why am i fighting water when i could just decide to land rush my opponent there's a lot of different things to consider now on water maps for the better or for the worse let me know what you guys think about this change and what your brain is ticking when i tell you that you know fish you just don't get as much food as you used to maybe it's not as good now you do have to remember that there are some other things that did change in uh in retold that do impact water maps a big one being that the market is available in the classical age now while that's not a market that can actually trade it's a market that you can sell that excess food for for potentially some extra gold here or there and maybe actually getting yourself some even more crazy builds happening so there is some crazy stuff now we are going to be watching a game here of drop playing against nakamura uh now drop here he's not gone for the water now i don't recommend this at all all. When I say don't fight for the water, that doesn't mean don't fish the water. Building a fishing ship costs 50 wood. It's going to pay itself off in approximately, well, 100 seconds, which you're not going to be losing that fishing ship that quickly ever. So it's always going to pay itself off if you're building it in the Archaic Age. So I don't recommend not going for the water at all. Though there are probably going to be some instances, say, for example, Highland, where maybe a Kronos player might want to go for a 330 advance to kind of kill off the enemy, uh, enemy water immediately and then take that water for themselves as an idea. There's going to be a lot of interesting things to go for, but we are seeing the Classical Age coming through here for drop. Uh, going through Heimdall, going through Freya, I think going through Freya here is going to be your better bet like nine times out of ten. Reason being is I can burn one of these forests and then I can harass the other two and completely shut down your wood economy here as we see Athena coming through for uh, Nakamura here as well. Uh, he's also going to be getting his Jason out and he's going to be looking around for the map. Now, let's put this even more into perspective. If I've got, say, four docks up and I've got, say, 12, 15, 18 fishing ships, my opponent then has to invest a significant amount of wood and gold into archer ships, into, as we are seeing a nice little raid coming in here, the bolt comes down, Nakamura keeps that villager alive. Uh, but you have to invest a lot of wood and gold into your into your navy basically to actually win the win the water as we see the forest fire coming down onto that location i don't recommend using forest fire super early anymore it seems like it's going to be a, a one of those god powers that you want to hold and use in the mid game in the early game you're not going to get those villager kills it doesn't seem to me uh anyways we're already seeing uh drop here he's going for a, a handful of ships and it looks like he's faking the water a little bit here on on uh, in order to try and make nakamura produce a whole bunch there so that he can find himself an advantage military units on uh military 
resources resources spent on the water uh, are not going to count towards your military total for the land, for example. It's an obvious statement, but it's something to really keep in the back of your mind. Drops also got ships attacking on the left side as well. So this is a very, very Age of Empires 4-esque um, strategy it looks like here from Drop. We'll see how it's actually going to start working out, but really Drop doesn't need to invest a whole lot in this water. He just needs to make Nakamura panic and make Nakamura spend, say, 500, 1,000 wood on that on that navy that is just not going to have any impact on the game, which is then going to mean that those fishing ships, they're going to kind of get set back and then Drop can maybe even just get himself a town center, maybe go next age, maybe make some raiding cavalry and try and get some raids here. We'll have to wait and see how that's all going to go. As Nakamura's Minotaur here has been caught out by these her. So nice find here by Drop as the uh, the Minotaur going to attempt to retreat away. But while this is going in, Nakamura is ignoring that with his Jason going straight after those villagers on the wood line. He's potentially going to pick one off here. But there we go. Good reaction there from Drop to garrison in as the Minotaur hits a big headbutt there. But... Uh, it's not probably... I, I'm not sure about this headbutt being a automatic usage anymore. I think basically you want to turn it off and you want to be more thinking about how can you displace your opponent's army for an advantage. So things like... Or even villages for an advantage. So things like catching villages out on a food line, getting in front of those villages or in between the base and where those villages are and then headbutting them away from the base is going to be a really good usage. But... Apart, and maybe, maybe even getting into onto the back of an archer line and then headbutting those archers into the center of the fight is also going to be another good usage. Of that. But apart from that, I'm not sure it's going to be the best usage uh, for the uh, for the Minotaur there to just kind of use it off the cuff. So a little bit more thinking going to be needed there as Jason does get sniped down. Drop here, he hasn't really done a whole lot with this earlier advance, with this kind of harassment on the water. Nakamura is significantly ahead in terms of population at this point. Nakamura is cleaning up all the docks, but look at all these boats. You got four of those hammer ships, you got two um, triremes, and you've got two of those juggernauts. Plus on the bottom, you've got a bunch down there as well. So he's probably looking at about 11... 11 ish so let's just call it 1600 1650 resources invested in onto the water from nakamura so this is a big big win from drop he doesn't need to worry about that anymore nakamura's already invested in that that being said nakamura can go heroic age now and he can start thinking about getting himself percy now while i said percy no longer is in the classical age for those of you who don't know percy is the fishing ship upgrade on the titans it only gave a 30 percent increase on your fishing ships in uh, retold, it gives 50%. So it's a really, really big boost to your fishing ships, though the base speed, the, the base gather rate is lower. So, I, I mean, which one's better? You do the math. I'm, I'm actually pretty sure you're still, uh, you've still got a, a faster fishing ship gather rate on Titans with Persine than on Retold with Persine. But nonetheless, uh, we are seeing those juggernauts going to be able to take down the the docks there and nakamura he's scouting around just seeing what's going on i think if, if if i'm playing this game from nakamura's perspective i'm going what the hell is my opponent doing here he has he's built two docks he's built zero fishing ships he's got to have something on the land coming so i've got to start thinking about how am i going to defend these units coming for me it's already nine minutes into the game i should have been raided by now as um the raiding cavalry are going to start pushing across the map here looking for something as the town center does get spotted here but Drop misses it, and Nakamura very, very quick to uh, make that retreat away. Great, great response there. Those raiding cavalry would have got a villager kill or two there, as uh, Nakamura just deletes that town center, pulls back into his main base, and he's going to start making some hoplites here. Uh, and you can see, even with all of this food that's come in from uh, from Nakamura's fishing ships, he's only now just barely getting to the heroic age. He's, he's built like a handful of food units um, on, and yeah, he's built a handful of food units, not many at all, and he's still struggling to get a decent heroic age timing. Generally speaking, a semi-fast heroic on the water on the Titans with like a whole bunch of archer ships would have been hitting at about eight minutes, but this is hitting at 10 minutes plus here for Nakamura. I don't even know if he's had extra villagers on the food or not while this is all going on, but... We'll see how things are going to go as the Juggernauts are actually able to harass this uh, food over here. And this is another big difference here on the water maps compared to on the Titans. And that's that water maps generally on the Titans didn't have a whole lot of hunt. You play Mediterranean, you have like 
only starting hunt. You play uh, Anatoly, you might have a pack of deer on the map. You play Midgard, there was a ton of hunt on Midgard, to be fair. But on, on every single one of these water maps now, there is a pretty decent amount of hunt you can actually grab uh, and enjoy. So losing the water, not going to be the, that big of a deal. I think that... If your opponent is, if you got to keep this in the back of your mind in terms of gather rates. If things change, this logic will change. But if your opponent is investing a lot into the water, I just say give it to them. If they're spending a ton, just give it to them. Get yourself a talent center and you're going to be in front. Um, or rush your opponent and get some villager kills on the land and you're going to be in front. Lots of good options to go for. Anyways, drop here. He is now starting to collect himself in the center of the map. He's got a lot of units. This, this map still is going to play out like on... Uh, on the Titans where all the gold is in the center. So once you finish up those two medium gold mines in your main base, which probably finishes around 14 to 15 minutes into the game, if you've been gathering them and spending those resources, um, you're going to you're gonna need to go and fight for that middle of the map. So what's important here is getting to the heroic age, making sure that you've got that tech and those numbers to fight for the middle of the map, and then just getting yourself a fortress there or a hill fort there, or a migdol there, or a palace there, so that you can hold that center of the map. And ideally on your third town center as well, though, I mean, the more I'm looking and watching Retold, the more I'm playing it, the more I'm feeling like getting that third town center, not that important. Getting a second town center, yes, but that third town center, I mean, you only really, it only really starts mattering towards the, the, the later stages of the game. As we also see Nakamura, he's got himself that Hydra in as well. It's already got two heads. Um, he's gone through Dionysus here. So he also has a Scala on the water. Though I get that Scala going through any Heroic Age god. But what's important here is that you get this upgrade from the temple as Nakamura is grabbing it. Can't exactly remember what it's called, but it does give regen for the Hydras. And this is going to mean that Nakamura's Hydra is going to get so many more heads and it's going to be able to survive for ages here as... Drop does come in and get a decent raid. I'm not sure if he actually managed to kill all too many villagers here, uh, but it it actually seems like in terms of village count, Drop is doing really well. It it says that he's 43 villagers to 29. You have to add. I don't know if fishing ships are calculated into this. I think it's not for whatever reason, but yeah, it's not because you can see 24 plus 10 plus 14 is higher than 30. So add the 15 fishing ships also that Nakamura's got. Um, onto that. So Nakamura is kind of mm, probably actually not equal because those fishing ships aren't going to be as strong as villagers. I'm, I'm a bit confused as to exactly how this game is going on. His drop is now starting to push forward. He's trying to surround this army. Nakamura is retreating away. He's, he's in a real, real challenging position here as those Hydras, they're not happy to take the fight just yet. If he can just continue to like poke and get a, a couple of heads out here for those Hydras, they're going to heal back up really, really quickly. And three-headed Hydra, four-headed Hydra, five-headed hydra any any amount of that is just a ridiculous amount of damage it becomes near impossible to actually deal with it so the odin player drop here basically needs to get to the heroic age through scardi get those frost giants out to freeze the hydras in their place so that he can actually take a fight moving forward here otherwise nakamura's army is going to be really really challenging to deal with as we're seeing a couple of more military buildings getting thrown down here for uh for Nakamura and he's also got the armory up as well trying to get some of those armory upgrades in as well as the walls coming up onto this position there just to defend I like the idea here from drop to just snipe this armory down but he's not going to quite be able to get it there's some archers there going to get a little bit too much damage onto those raiding cavalry so he decides to retreat away he's still got control of the middle so I like the idea here from drop if he can just keep himself afloat here I think just stop spending resources maybe not even go for this town center get heroic age have frost for the bronze um and and just go for a basically go for a gold starve here a full all-in full population heroic age uh gold starve here nakamura is going to be in some trouble moving forward even with all of that extra fishing ship economy that being said nakamura can start a trade route already so that is an option as we do see some raids coming in onto this food on the left side of the map not going to be able to find anything there is drop does find some villages on the uh back line there as nakamura retreats them nice and quickly but will be a villager kill or two there uh, as Drop needs to retreat away as those are very, very strong units here. Uh, those Hoplites, I mean, 
if you take a look at them, they, they start with 45% hacked armor, which, I mean, if you compare that to, say, a Huskull that starts with 50% pierce armor, you start going, wow, hack units really do not do a lot of damage to these hoplites at all. So you really need to get some some counter units out. You need to get those thrown axemen out. You need to get some um, some goadie out. You need to get some sort of answer to those hoplites out in the shape of, of of counter units. You can't be going mass raiding cavalry against them. And we are kind of seeing that here, though. There are berserks coming in. Berserks, I don't think they're going to do all too well against these hoplites at all. Uh, but we'll see if uh, if Drop can make this work. As Nakamura says, it's go time. I'm sitting 175 population. I got two of these Hydras out already. I got bronze. I see a town center. Let me take this out nice and quick here. Drop going to be engaging on the back here. Nice positioning thus far from Nakamura as he does drop the bronze in onto this fight here. Restoration going to be coming through as well. And Drop says, all right. I see you. You used your you god powers. Let me just retreat away. Uh, those, those Hydra look absolutely sick there. Three-headed Hydra is already in, plus getting regen. They're going to be taking... Uh, they're going to be surviving for an insanely long amount of time in this one as we do see the houses getting... Uh, or about to be targeted down, but Nakamura, he's realizing well, gold is important here. Let me just go and push in on this list. Let me use a little bit more of this bronze as drop probably should be waiting a little bit longer before engaging this one but he does catch out one of those hydras great retreat micro there from nakamura to keep his hydra alive a little bit longer toxodi's doing a good job of trying to target down those throwing axemen on the back as the hydras push through they're going to be basically one hitting these throwing axemen on the back line here as most of those hersa have been taken out four headed hydras coming through as well as they're going to easily be able to take out the hersa as well even though they've got half damage coming through onto them as well but i mean you just can't stop these hydras just once they've started you need an answer to them and that answer is the frost giant drop has really really fallen behind now he's dropped down to 111 population to nakamura's 161 nakamura's got enough resources in the bank right now to drop a fortress down on the front here to secure that gold mine and he is going to be in a completely fine position there to hold that position until drop figures out a way to push forward nakamura's economy is going to be starting to kick into gear as well now he's got two town centers he can even think about a third town center which he is indeed grabbing on the back line there as i mean look at the i, the, I don't know exactly what the, the heal speed is of these hydras but it looks like it's going up in hp really really quickly when you look at it so it's such an insanely good technology. I think this is something to really investigate is those, um, what, what was happening in the Titans with those unique technologies. They're not the best, but you're going to grab them at some point, maybe if you have enough. But now in Retold, it seems like all of these technologies are kind of like, if I build one of these extra myth units and I get two of them, right? It's probably worth grabbing that technology immediately. Um, for the most part, they're all really, really strong. Uh, as we are seeing some Valkyries coming out. Valkyries aren't going to be cutting it here. These Hydras, I think they've got bonus versus myth units. So not only are they doing 100 DPS in terms of hack and 50 DPS in terms of crush, but they're also getting a times two bonus um, onto myth units as well, I believe. So they're basically one hitting Valkyries as well. So there's just no good answer to these Hydras inside of drops odin's kit at the moment he needs the heroic age here as we do see a fortress coming up those throwing axemen do snipe a couple of the villages there nakamura retreats back but he gets straight back onto that uh fortress he wants this one up and just those hydra just going to town on everything you just can't engage this army nakamura has made and he's actually showing like zeus you know, there, there is an answer here for odin but zeus is a scary god if he gets what he wants uh, going in this one and in that moment drop does go how do i deal with this and he decides to tap out here but a really really interesting game here a clash of styles uh drop almost had this one i think instead of going three towns and it's just going heroic age making frost giants having frost for that bronze and then just controlling the center of the map would have been a real real good answer you can actually see the resource differential here and a lot of that is cancelled out all of that almost is cancelled out in terms of um in in terms of resources spent on the water that was like a thousand resources maybe two thousand resources advantage for nakamura for that game but he spent that much in terms of navy which didn't really do anything let's be completely honest yes he killed off uh, a dock or two but 
that's about it. Maybe a maybe a boat here or two. So I mean, maybe it's a little bit more of an advantage Nakamura's side. But in in nonetheless, like that was looking scary for Nakamura in that game, even though he'd had the water himself for the entirety of the game. There, it's a really really interesting thing to see. What do you guys reckon about this uh, this water? What do you want to see from the water? Do you want to see uh, do you want to see the navy fights? Do you want to see players saying it's not worth it to fight navy, so I'm just going to do other stuff? Is that what you guys want? Let me know in the comments below if you like this change uh, and I'll see you guys in the next game.